everyone, Ashley here with your um, NCLEX review question of the day. I want you to go ahead, read through the question, kind of pick out your keywords, go through the answer options um, and see what you think. So go ahead and pause the video for a minute or two, um, read through, pick your answer option and then come back. All right, our question is, the primary healthcare provider has determined that a patient has contracted hepatitis A based on flu-like symptoms and jaundice. Which statement made by the patient supports this medical diagnosis? So our keywords, hepatitis A, and then supports this medical diagnosis. So before we move on to the answer options, let's brainstorm. What do we know about hepatitis A? Well, we know it is um, a viral infection of the liver. Um, when we think about transmission modes for hepatitis A, hepatitis A is a fecal to oral route. Um, so oftentimes um, people will get it from undercooked food, um, undercooked uh, seafood, or either um, an infected food handler that may be infected and kind of pass it along that way. Um, so let's move on to the answer options. A, I have had unprotected sex with multiple partners. Okay, well, we know hep A is fecal to oral, so you cannot get it with um, through sex or, or blood, blood or body fluid. So it would not be A. B, I ate shellfish about two weeks ago at a local restaurant. Yes, we know that hep A is transmitted fecal to oral, most often from undercooked seafood. So B is most likely our answer, but let's move on. C, I was an IV drug user in the past with shared and shared needles. Okay, and D, I had a blood transfusion 30 years ago after major abdominal surgery. So looking at these, B is our only option that would be um, fecal to oral um, with any undercooked food. So B is going to support a medical diagnosis of hepatitis A because B is the transmission mode for hep A, whereas options A, C, and D are all blood and body fluids, which um, which would represent hepatitis B, C, or D. They are all um, they are all their transmission for Hep B, C, and D are blood and body fluids. So, all right, guys, take care.